So when you return, how is Veronica's relationship with her parents? Um, so just as a disclaimer, we don't know too much about what's happening um, in season four. They always keep us very, they keep everything under wraps. Um, but I do know that obviously both of her parents are in prison. She put Hiram in prison, so obviously, you know, she wanted him to be there. I don't think she wanted her mom to be there. Um, but Hiram has a vengeance, and he's definitely causing hell in her life and um, reacting to the fact that she put him there. So there's there's definitely some conflict between Veronica and her parents. So is Hiram still in prison when we catch up with them in the new season? Sorry? Is Hiram still in prison? Yeah, both of her parents are in prison. Smithers is her legal guardian. <laughs> <laughs> But mostly the house is unsupervised, which means anyone can come over oh. whenever she wants. <laughs> Sleepover! <laughs> so speaking of that, last season we saw Barchi go you know, through a lot of ups and downs yeah. that ultimately came together in the end. Are we going to see a more like self Barchi season? I think so. So far it seems, I mean I only know what happens in the first few episodes, but it's pretty, they're going strong, pretty solid. I feel like after all the turmoil they went through, in season three, it would just be really annoying if they if they had more of that season four. You'd be like, come on, guys, just yeah. make up your mind. <laughs> so what's like pushing her forward now? What is she, you know, focusing on in this upcoming season? Veronica is focusing on, from what I've read so far, uh, applying for colleges um, and dealing with the repercussions of her father's vengeance um, and the things that he does, which I can't elaborate on. I um, and also, there is a new principal at Riverdale High. Um, Mr. Weatherby is off at the farm, I believe. So there's Mr. Honey. Mr. Honey comes in, and he's very strict. He he's kind of trying to reform Riverdale High um, and instilling all these rules. So Veronica is definitely gonna butt heads with him as well. I think every student will. She's so always been a bit of an activist, so yes. she's what's her cause this season. She's a, re she's a rebel. Um, her cause this season, I actually don't, I don't know how to answer that. I don't, because I don't, it not much, since episode one was so much about the tribute and about, and about honoring Luke and Fred, it's very focused on, on Archie's storyline and, and all of us coming together. Um, so none of, nothing about that episode really put into place anything that was going to happen for the rest of the season, if that makes sense. So right now, I only have season two as like a reference point, and it's not much where I can actually tell you what the next 22 episodes are going to look like. <laughs> can we hope for another musical episode, maybe? 100%. And also, what if uh, if you could choose which musical it would be, what would it be? Sweeney Todd. Oh. Oh. Dean and Barbara yes. Fleet. Yeah. Street. <laughs> I love Sweeney Todd so much. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do Sweeney Todd. I don't know who Veronica would play in that. Because I feel like you would want Cheryl to be... would probably be Joanna. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Or well, Mrs. Lovett. Lovett. Yeah. Lily? I mean, Betty would be with Mrs. Lovett, maybe? Oh, or, or no. Joanna? Yeah, or either of them could be yeah. Joanna. But I couldn't see Veronica being Mrs. Lovett either. Veronica needs to be like a fiercer character. <laughs> Have you pitched it? Be... Oh. Have you pitched it to him? Yeah. What about Veronica? Roberta. Uh, Sweeney. Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll tell him right now. Do you remember Roberta. Roberta. Yeah. Yeah. Sweeney Todd? Uh, for the musical? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. 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 I feel it's the murder fits in very well. Yeah. 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 It does. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah. having to do. I almost feel like Veronica's always been super independent, always looking after herself. So I don't think that really changes this season. Um, but I think, I think honestly, this season feels like we're like really diving into senior year, and there's going to be more core four together, more of the whole gang together, like getting to see some more storylines from you know uh, Kevin and Reggie, and, and I think we're going to be exploring more of the dynamics between characters because it's our last year in high school and I think that's going to feel you know I think if we were to go on and do a season five then what would that look like you know so I think we're going to really relish in like we're in high school let's like let's really live in this high school world before it's done. Is there anything so particular in terms of that you want to see? Anything particular? Anything particular school wise? I thought the college thing was actually something I've always really wanted to see. I, I've always wanted to see what the characters will grow up to become, you know, um, what they pursue in their lives. And also, you know, because the show couldn't continue if they all went off to different schools, right? So somehow they're all going to end up at Riverdale University. <laughs> Speaking of different schools, Jughead's now at a different one. Does Veronica have much interaction with Jughead? Um, yeah, there definitely is. I think we're going to see more interaction between those two characters. I already have a scene with him in uh, episode two, which is nice. Uh, I never get to work with Cole, actually. Um, but yeah, Cheryl has a big party. So, um, and I know Veronica, you know, Jughead's going to this new prep school. And that was Veronica's life. You know, she, those are the types of people she is familiar with, and she knows that world. And I think, in a way, she's trying to protect Jughead from, from those people and, and, and what they can be like. And what about Veronica, the businesswoman, this season? Oh, she's, like she's, still running, but she's still running her business. <laughs> she still has that she's still got the yeah. <laughs> And we have, I think I can say, we have a fun dance number. Uh, a really exciting dance number. Um, at the end of episode two, which is... I just saw a choreography video for it. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to learn that. It's like three <laughs> minutes, three minutes of insane dancing, but. Is that for cheerleading or is that? It's at La Bonne Nuit. It's a jazzy song. And it's like sexy and fun. And it's a really famous song and you guys are gonna love it. Oh, okay. Thank you. 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 Multiple, yeah. 